Hey there, this is Jen Powers from the Westerville Public Library, and today I'd like to talk about one of my favorite movements in music history, Kosmisha music. Kosmisha music, also known as Krautrock, developed in the late 1960s and throughout the 70s in West Germany. Drawing inspiration from a vast range of other musical movements, from avant-garde classical to music concrete, to rock and roll, to jazz, not to mention a variety of visual arts and political and social movements, it's gone down as one of the most exciting and widely influential movements in the history of experimental music. Names of bands like Tangerine Dream and Kraftwerk are universally recognizable these days, but there's a wealth of other fascinating and engaging artists who inhabited and informed the scene alongside them. I'm going to recommend five albums by some of those artists that you can find on Hoopla, one of Westerville Library's streaming subscription services. Can, whose awe-inspiring rhythm section was comprised of bassist Olger Chukai and Yaki Liebezite, is the stuff of underground legends, and Tago Mago is the band's most legendary release. It was technically the band's third album, and was the first of three to feature the vocalist Damo Suzuki, known for his magnetic and enigmatic energy and dynamic stream-of-consciousness vocalizations. As with many of the band's albums, this one is a hypnotic distillation, a literal splicing together of selections pulled from many hours worth of improvisations recorded in the studio. Cluster, who were Dieter Mobius and Hans Joachim Rodelius with the rotating cast of other musicians, perhaps most well known for their collaborative efforts with Brian Eno in the 1970s and beyond, created entire worlds of sound with synthesizers, guitars, drum machines, and an impressive array of unexpected objects. As is the case with many bands of the era and the movement, they were sonic chameleons, seeming to touch on everything from proto-industrial to ambient new age to avant-pop to warbling space rock. Cluster 2 is an iconic and historically significant electronic album. Faust, who are still active today, were one of the most sonically varied groups in the scene, and that's saying a lot. Their fourth album, appropriately titled Four, complete with an immortalizing opening track called Krautrock, became an indispensable document of the movement. There's a little bit of everything in here. Swaths of hazy, delay-drenched grooves, jarring feedback that dissolves abruptly as it manifests, proto-punk, and even a few touches of pop sensibility. And, of course, long and wandering passages of engaging, deeply dynamic psych rock. Amon Duel II was the second of two bands that formed from members of the politically active, arts-oriented commune Amon Duel. Amon Duel II, specifically, are considered pioneers of the kraut rock movement, especially thanks to the album Yeti, a searing, psychedelic odyssey that is a stunning document of both their technical prowess and their penchant for freeform improvisation. You can't talk about Cosmisha music without talking about this important, ever-evolving collective. Popol Vuh, who notably composed soundtracks for half a dozen films by the director Werner Herzog throughout the 1970s and 80s, were led by Florian Frick, who had a long-standing and steadily evolving relationship with mysticism and spirituality that greatly informed the band's atmospheric and emotionally affecting compositions. Einsjäger und Siebenjäger is a fine intersection of the band's early electronic and taped-based explorations and their mid-career foray into sparkling, valley-deep, piano, guitar, and vocally-driven rock music. To begin exploring these titles and many more, go to westervillelibrary.org slash Hoopla and click on the type of device you're using. From Hoopla's homepage, you can sign up using your email address. Once you confirm your email address, you're ready to go. I hope you enjoy the wealth of great music and other media available through Hoopla. If you have any music questions or want any more recommendations from across all genres, feel free to shoot me an email at jpowers at westervillelibrary.org.